Hey gang, Tim here at Core Electronics, and I have some 3D printable treats for you. Charge docks for your 8-bit DO controllers. No Gamer Cave is complete without a retro gaming console, but there's nothing worse than rushing downstairs eager to play the newest game with your favorite 8-bit DO controller, turning on all the systems, only to find out your controller needs to be charged. No! Well, I have the remedy for you today dedicated recharge docks for all your 8-bit DO controllers. Whether you have an 8-bit DO SN30 Pro, 8-bit DO SN30 Pro Plus, or an 8-bit DO M30. I have a charge port for you. These all work in combination with that USB-C cable that comes with the 8-bit DO controller. So no extra hardware needs to be purchased. All designs are available online. Check the description below for the links. So. Dust off that 3D printer or keep it cranking and just find the time to sneak this print in and put these designs to good use. These charge docks turn the action of plugging in your controller to power up a smooth one-handed operation. One you can even perform with your eyes closed. Easy. <laughs> the charge dock will also provide a dedicated location for your 8-bit DO controller to exist in your life. Thus, with a little bit of muscle memory to consistently drop it into the charge dock, you will never run into that dreaded situation of sitting and waiting for your controller to charge. Or reverting back to true retro and turning your state-of-the-art wireless controller into an old-school wired one. All the design docks are designed to be sturdy and to last a long time. Once you find your optimal location for your dock, I would recommend using double-sided tape to secure them safely into place. And big question time. Will these docks work with the Pro 2? I will boldly state that it will. This future controller's dimensions perfectly match that of the Pro Plus controller. Currently, as of shooting, I have yet to lay my hands on one, but as soon as I do, I'm going to find out for certain and tell you. So let's get in close and check out these designs. Here is the 8-bit DO Pro Plus dock design, which will very likely fit the new 8-bit DO Pro 2. Over here is the 8-bit DO Pro dock design. This dock has a little red topper embellishment, which is not necessary, but it does make it look very fresh. I printed these separately and super glue them to the top after the fact. And here is the 8-bit DO M30 dock design. You will notice that the USB-C plug stands a little proud of the top plate to accommodate the shape of the controller. So I will jump into the computer to show you the settings I use. Audiomaker Cura is the slicing software I'm currently using. Guide in the description below to learn all about it. Here on screen is the two parts of the 8-bit DO Pro Plus charge dock orientated in Cura. This is the orientation that I 3D printed these docks in. These docks have been successfully printed using the default normal 0.1 millimeter layer height, fast 0.2 millimeter layer height, and the visual setting for PLA. They were all printed with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. I've used a wall thickness of five and 20% infill for all of these docks. I also used a brim to improve the adhesion. Printing it like this with PLA makes for a proper sturdy object. I have also printed a dock, this blue one over here, using CPE, which is even stronger. Now, every 3D printer has different optimal settings and a great place to learn how to dial in any 3D printer can be found at the guide Improving 3D Printed Models, link in the description below as well. Now. Each charge dock is a different size, so make sure when you 3D print them to 3D print the right one for your controller. All these charge docks are made up of two parts. Here on the table, I'm gonna open this one up. No glue is required to make them fit firmly together. It's just sturdy old press fits. You're gonna start by press fitting that USB-C through the hole on the top plate until the plastic is flush with the top. On the 8-bit DO M30 dock, I push up the USB-C just a little bit further so it sits around 4.5 millimeters proud of the top plate. Using the 3D printers here, the USB-C plug fits snug straight off the print platform. But due to dimensional variations that happen with different 3D printers, you may need to file the hole ever so slightly larger or wrap a small amount of tape around that USB-C to ensure this snug fit. Once happy, you can then press the two printed parts together just make sure not to clip the edge of the USB wire when doing so. Once assembled, all you need to do now is plug in that USB to power and dock your controller. I've been considering a number of potential future designs. For example, 
For those of you who have multiple controllers and want a whole docking extravaganza, I'd like to create similar designs to these that will work with two, three, and four controllers. Currently, with these designs, you can't stack them behind each other in a row as the USB cord would run into the front of the one behind. With a little computer crafting in CAD, I could definitely create dock variations that would accommodate multiple controllers in a single unit. Also, if anyone has accurate models of 8-bit controllers that they are happy to send to me, I would be very appreciative. Given the time, I may end up reverse design engineering the controllers using photogrammetry because with accurate CAD models of these controllers, I'd be able to take these charge dock designs to the next level. So that's it. Good design goes to heaven and bad design goes everywhere. So allow me to do better by giving input about your experiences with these charge docks. We are full-time makers and here to help. I hope this come in handy for you and until next time, stay cozy.